going to drive on in here, right? So, uh, this is a live spoken word piece we're going to open up with. And the second half of the show is kind of probation focused. Um, and the first part has been around the IPS and the contributions there and the connections. So um, we're delighted to have uh, Rory perform a live spoken word piece. Um, this is a project by College Connect. Juan, Juan. This is a project by College Connect. I hope to have um, met. I hope you met at their exhibition stand here today. And it's a partnership between Minute University, Dublin City University, Dundalk IT, and Tossat Lawn College Connect. Working with community groups, local authorities, and industry, support people who are socially and economically challenged into uh, into and through higher education. They produced a video in 2020 that was made up of quotes from 34 participants who took part in a College Connect research project in 2019. These participants were from the Pathways Centre and the research was looking to help improve access to higher education for prisoners and former prisoners. The words of the participants were narrated for the video by award-winning Irish actor and theatre actor called Rory Conroy. And we are delighted to welcome Rory here today to speak to these speak these powerful words live to us. All the words you're going to hear are exactly the words that are the participants' response. So, in other words, Rory, you're up, are you? School for me was always around surviving. Who was at home when you got home? Who was the adult? All the teachers were from the country. I mean, nothing against people from the country, but they just didn't get us. If you come from a wealthy family and you didn't have to worry about your dinner, the education just didn't represent my reality. I always felt like I wasn't getting it. I didn't pick things up as easy as everyone else. I wasn't stupid. Far from it. I just needed to explain more. The teacher got bored. He used to tell me to stand in the corner, in the bin, because I was rubbish. I always knew what was what. I just could never articulate it. I could articulate it with violence. I think I was 13 when I ran. That was the end of it. I started to get into a lot of trouble, involved in gangs. I went robbing, drinking, whatever. All I know is self-taught. I'm like a sponge. I pick up things. I pick up everything. Legal stuff from being in court. Solicitors. I pick it all up. I suppose if someone had recognised me abilities back then, things might have been different. But I was that strong-willed. All bets were off. I was destined for prison. I went to school in prison to get out of doing laps of the yard. And because it was raining. I'm not being talked down to. I'm actually being talked to. I started subjects like social studies and loved it. There was a word on the board. Social stratification. Within five minutes of the teacher explaining the word, I knew. Ah, that's how I ended up in a corpo flat. Why me dad was a labourer. People talk about this. It amazes me. I thought I was on my own. It was relevant to my life. I felt valued and it matters. Where do I fit into society post-prison? Who am I? I knew if I didn't go back to education, I'd go back to crime. Someone told me about a course. That's something for them, not for me. I'm an ex-prisoner. There's people who deserve it more. We've no college graduates in my family not even extended family. They're not going to be interested in someone like me. In and out of prison me whole life. On heroin, crack. You're an addict. Go into addiction studies. Funneled into a course by someone who knows better. Everyone thinks they have the solution to our problem. Mature students have other obligations. Children, bills, day-to-day -day living. Even if finance is covered, can I afford this? I paid for modules and then I bumped into someone and they said, you can go back to college for free. Education may be free, but life isn't. 
Financial assistance requires jumping through hoops. I met in college what I've always met. But now you're in a middle class environment in a college that you pay thousands for a year and you're coming in here with cheques from St Vincent de Paul. Cap in hand for grants. You're not so equal. No infrastructure to stay clean. No addiction counsellors in the university. People speak in a language that I didn't know what it meant. Education had taken the compassion from these people and they hid behind complicated language. Language holds power. So I had to learn this language. But it was exhausting. Traumatised from being a prisoner. An ex-addict. But no help available. I couldn't even use a laptop. If there had been a prison liaison officer in the college, I'd have gone and spoken to him. As long as it wasn't on his door. Prison liaison officer. It's knowing where to go and get the information. A person who can connect me from day one. A connector. Take the hardship out of asking. Make it readily available. A lecturer decided she was going to tell everyone. You can't be in this class because of your previous convictions. Disclose my personal information in front of the whole class. I'm blessed with the class I had, because when I walked out, they walked out with me. Without them, I was leaving. The shame. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it when Garda Vettin stops you from being, even being a cleaner? Everything is a battle. But college gives me the ability to not set that battle on fire. A lot of that comes down to understanding how these inequalities can be on top of each other and the intersectionality of this. So it's understanding it and understanding what I can do. I can now help my daughter with homework. If she asks me a question, I want to know. For her. I don't know if it's the madness around you subsides first or does it start to subside because of the education. It's just a love now. Just something that's in my life. It's not a burden. Yes, it's challenging, but it keeps you going. It opens your mind so much. It's so enriching. It has a ripple effect on the family. You know what? The further you go, that life gets farther away. And this life gets nearer. <laughs>